or, or yeah, this basically this specific area soundtrack. But yeah, no. So this is the Zoro's Domain, which I have to wonder when you're when you're playing this game for the first time and you've played a link, to, you've played almost any other Zelda game where Zoras for the most part are almost always enemies in those games. Like no, no joke, they are the majority of the time enemies here. Well, if you've never seen the uh, Zoras before, here's a Zora now. A beautiful looking fish, uh, fish person. Look at that. And these were ugly looking motherfuckers in the previous game. So uh, let's just say that, uh, you know, evolution did these guys fucking beautifully. Actually, no, technically Ocarina of Time takes place before Link to the Past. Chronologically, so technically evolution did horrible things to these guys. <laughs> so yeah, they are aquatic people. And um, they're pretty damn badass, honestly. I really do like their designs and everything. And I do, I really do like how it's not just fire creatures, water creatures, you know, kind of thing. It's the Gorons are a very distinct race, and so are the Zoros as well. And you can get a lot of fish over here. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of fish over here. I think the game also wants us to light some of these. Uh, the game also wants us to light these torches, but I don't believe we can do it just yet. So anyway, but we got some important stuff we have to do. So now that I've done gawking over the whole, um, how amazing the Zoros are and how amazing the soundtrack is and <laughs> all that kind of stuff, let's go backwards a bit. Oh, oh boy. Ugh. Um, you're, uh, oh god, I fell off. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, this dude, ugly looking motherfucker. Oh boy, at least we see what the guys evolved into. <laughs> oh my dear sweet princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Sorry King, but I don't care because you're ugly and ugly people are horrible and deserve to die. I'm just kidding, that was a joke. People don't freak out. Diving game, 20 rubies. Wanna play? No. Alright, so now that we just gave him money, do you know what? I'm gonna pick up all the rubies I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. And yeah, and if you fuck this up, you have to go back there and try again. Not fun. So yeah, after all that shit just happened, he literally just took our money and threw it down there. He's like, you know, fucking fetch, motherfucker. And he's like, and I'm just like, motherfucking asshole. So uh, yeah, basically you have to get these rubies and you're, you have to deal with the fact that you... <laughs> you can't stay underwater very long. Usually I can get a few when I first fall down the cliff, but that didn't happen well here. Though I did kind of get lucky because we had those two in one go. Oh, I got those two in the nice. So anyway, now we have to come up and get our prize. That's right, they don't just teleport us, which honestly, I think that's really fucking stupid. They should teleport us. <laughs> and we back, folks. So he's very he's very pleased with the way that we've done everything, so he's going to give us a scale of our kind. So basically, he's going to give us a Zoro scale. And by doing so, we can actually go underwater for longer periods of time, which is really cool. I don't understand how the scale has... Here's the th here's the funny thing, in any other Zelda game, or especially 3D Zelda game, this just would have been a regular scale, but for some reason here it's it's enveloped in water, and I never got that. So anyway, yeah, now we can... Uh, la we can it, it's basically holding our breath longer. We don't swim better. Instead of three seconds, we have six. Ooh. Alrighty then, so now going down here, we end up in Lake Hylia. That's right, Lake Hylia. This is this is basically a lot more, I think, to the bottom right of the map in uh, this game. If you go out into, into Hyrule Field. I'm Azoro, have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into the lake. And I think we can do this now as well, because I will. But there's really not much to see here just yet. It's just, there's not much going on, there's not much you can really do. But, we go over here and we can meet our hands on some very nice people. Er, uh... Scary people. My name is Pierre, the... Uh, Pierre! The Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could uh, wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. That's weird. Okay, that was stupid. All right, let me do. Let me try this again. Fantastic tune. It touches my heart. 
If you come up with a nice song, come back and see me. So yeah, you can play songs for him, and if I remember correctly... Okay, no, that doesn't work. Is it the other guy we have to talk to? Whoa, you got an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Okay, yeah, so this is the dude we want to play music to. Well, not bad. I will remember it for you anyway. I don't mean I, I, I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut right there for now, baby. Yeah, so this is a different Scarecrow, and it's actually important for you to do this if you're playing the Master Quest version. Here, this guy's just kind of helpful later on. But yeah, this is the Scarecrow. I don't know if they call it in this game, but yeah. So basically, we just made an official song. I didn't mean to talk to you. I was trying to run away, you asshole. Yeah, basically... <laughs> I like how it has my pause there. So feel free to make your own tracks, but that can be useful very later on in uh, the game. Oh, and also down there, there's also the motherfucking... Uh, the owl. But anyway, the reason why we're out here isn't because of that, though that was kind of useful. Um, the reason why we're out here is because we're trying to get our hands on... Something looks weird down there. Go to pick it up. Or I'll fuck it up. What the hell, game? We got our hands on an empty bottle, but <laughs> put something inside. Oh yeah, wait, there's something already inside. I forgot. They basically act like, what? There's an empty bottle in here. And also, there should be a Zora around here you can talk to. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. What's going on, dude? I'm a Zoro. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into the lake. Which I'm guessing it also means uh, an interesting letter in there. What's that all about? Well, first we're going to head back to Zora's domain because, well... You know, we got we got shit we got to do, you know. We're a busy person, all right? What's going on, fish person? Anyway, let's uh, go to a place we can... Uh, well, never really go to a place. I just want to get up top. <laughs> so, anyway... That made, that gives us three bottles now, so we are one away. We are one away from a complete set, folks. So anyway, we can read this letter and uh, we'll take it out and read it. And it's huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. Oh, really? You already fucking dumped it out. It's a letter. Help me! I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. What's the very next thing we do? Hmm. We're gonna be snitches. We're gonna be telling some foul, foul mouth stuff over here. Alrighty then. So, and you wanna Z target this dude if the game will let me. Or can we Z target him? No. What the hell, game? Okay, let me try this again. Okay, there we go. Z target him, and then you can show him the letter. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear princess Ruto. So basically they worship a fish. Nice. But since that stranger Ganondorf, ooh boy, we know about him. Uh, apparently uh, Lord Jabu Jabu's been sick after that motherfucker was around. Which, um, if you... if The only thing I really have to kind of criticize this game for is that's two different times he's a uh, Ganondorf's hurt people from the inside of the belly so not really the the best thing but now now we have to deal with this motherfucking moment and he makes frog noises as he moves his fucking ass over but yes we have to talk to this dude so we can get access to Lord Jabu Jabu all right hopefully I skipped over that for you guys because that's fucking annoying and I never noticed that before is that a fucking beehive up there how the hell do they have a beehive in this game? So anyway, we're not actually going to go talk to Lord Jabu Jabu. Or Lord Jabu Jabu. You can't actually talk to him. He's just a, he's just a giant fish. But um, <laughs> we're not going to do that in this episode. We will do that next time because... Uh... Well, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well just start inside the... No, I, I want to actually start inside there. So I don't have to crawl my ass all the way back here. <laughs> 
But first things first, we have to actually catch our hands of fish. This is very important. And also, what we want to do is, I think we can do it now. Oh, here we go. Okay. So what we actually want to do right now is we want to light up every single uh, torch we can. And if I remember correctly, this is the only way we can do it. Oh god, we only have one stick left. Uh, hopefully I do this the first time. If not, I guess I'll just uh, do this another time. Okay. So now I kind of want to go ahead up here. Basically, we just want to light these torches now. And it's a race against time. I don't know if there's ones back there, uh... Oh, yep, there we go. There's one back there. But I would like to also see if I can get the, uh... Because there's more up here. I don't think we get a prize for it, but... OCD means I really want to do it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it, it means anything, but fuck it. It's, it's always nice to do that kind of shit. I don't think there's any more... Oh! Oh, I guess we don't have to do it that way? Okay, well, I guess I cheated, but fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Alright, never mind. So, but if it wasn't clear, by the way, these kind of wooden sticks usually, like these these kind of not metal versions, which is kind of ironic when you think about it, when you think about the end result, but these things don't run out of fire. After they're lit, they don't... I did not mean to press that button. Apparently Link just wants to kill the fish people here with his, with his fire-based abilities. But, um, no, they will always stay lit, but usually these ones don't. These ones are usually the ones that are like, oh, well, fuck it, you, you know, we're, we're gonna go out soon. But technically, because we had to do, we had to light these ones as part of, like, a, I wouldn't say a quest, but, like, you know, to get this chest to appear over here, um, it doesn't count. So these things will constantly stay lit, but usually they run out. And that gets us a heart piece. Oh, boy. Starting back over again. I think I might be able to get one more set of... Let's see, if I go back to the forest, which I can speed through that in the future. Go back to the forest, I can get that one. So, I mean, like I said, this is just a casual run of this game, but I'd like to get one more heart piece, because technically there's two more we can get outside, and then there's also a, um... Yeah, there's there's two more heart pieces that we can uh, get, get immediately... I don't know. Can't speak. There's two more heart pieces we can immediately get outside after this. And then after that, we can get our hands on one more from the Kakiri Forest, and yeah. And then I also want to go talk to those fucking spider freaks, so. We got a bit to do after we're done with this specific part, but we are done here, folks. We are going to, uh, well, not done done, but close enough. <laughs> actually, actually, I think there's one more thing I'm going to try to do first. So, this is the ugly motherfucker Jabu Jabu, and actually... I think there's a golden sculpture around here as well. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong way for it, but um. Anyway, one thing we do want to do is we want to go swimming around here, not too far, but um. And that's the fat ass Jabu Jabu, Jabu, Jabu the big ass uh, fish over here. But we want to get our ass on land right now. And no, I don't think I can actually get the uh. Get the golden uh, sculpture right now. I think I have to do that later. But for now, we can get one extra thing. Oh no, can we get it? We might not be able to. We can definitely try, goddammit. Okay, so first things first. Let's see if there's one inside this fucking tree. Yep, there's one inside the tree. This wasn't the one I was thinking of, but fuck it. Alright, so that's another one adding to our collection. And then this actually kind of teaches you something important. No, I did that by accident. <laughs> I did not mean to throw it. There we go. So this actually kind of teaches you something important. Because, okay, so it wants us to blow up this whole thing and now we found a secret uh, entrance to something. But also, this rock can't be blown up by a bomb, which is kind of confusing because bombs should blow up blocks. What the hell? So that's just kind of something important. And anyway, we find another great fairy, fairy fountain over here. So that's pretty important. <laughs> so by uh, by doing that, we um, get our hands on another uh, something special from the Great Fairy. Which hey, you know I'm cool with that. She's been giving us cool shit so far. Yes, thank you. I wanted to see your uh, seaweed figure. You're beautiful. Uh, sure, whatever. I don't care. Maybe when I was a kid, this might have been a sight to see. But uh, I'm sorry, but. Uh, 
you you get beaten out by the thick thick great fairy fountain or the great fairy from the next game like she thick like holy shit man HD did wonders of that girl <laughs> I wonder, has anybody uh, made a picture of uh, the, either or, whatever side they're on? But um, has anyone has anybody ever done the pictures of the the great fairy from this game in Breath of the Wild? And they're like, when did this become more beautiful than this? But so anyway, this is uh, Fiora's Wind, and if you haven't caught it already as well, these have the same names as the um, the three Triforce the the the, the creatures from the Triforce uh, mythos. Where it's like the Din, the Fiora, and the uh, Nehru, I believe. So basically they have elements. And out of all of the spells in this game... This is the worst, honestly. To be quite, fr to be quite frank. There's sometimes you can abuse this thing, but basically I don't think you can use it in most areas. But what happens is, is that you set it down. I don't even think we can use it outside of here, can we? Nope, we can't. It only works inside of uh, dungeons. But basically think of, okay, you just entered a room in a dungeon. So what you do is you use, you use uh, Fiora's Wind. And by doing that, you can teleport to that, you can teleport to that point whenever you feel like it. The issue is, there is barely any point that that would become useful in. Maybe in the last dungeon, if you fuck up and fall down that one spot, maybe. So it might be a good way to recover, but in all, it's from some areas, especially if you have difficulty in them. But overall, it's just not that useful. I can think of one or two times where it's like, oh, hey, that really helped me. Though I do think this dungeon might actually have something useful with. But usually you don't think about going over there first. So anyway, this dude, uh, you can actually hear him breathing. But uh, what we do, I don't know how you're supposed to get advice on this. But he's uh, kind of hungry. Hungry little critter over here. So he sees the fish and oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so he sucks us inside of his mouth. Luckily he doesn't chew, so that's a positive. And we are inside Jabu Jabu's belly, and I have to say, this is the most surreal place out of this entire fucking game. And in case you guys are curious, if you go back outside of the mouth real quick. And then you're like, hey Jabu Jabu, what do you- oh. He just straight up lets us go inside of his mouth. So, you know, that's, you know, I, I have to admit the guy's pretty uh, sweet for that. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Oh my God, it saves the picture, the, the letters on top. Does it usually do that? I know this game had to do something a little bit different because uh, a common issue with emulators is that when you pause, it takes a screenshot of the game takes a screenshot of what you have. It's more seamless in the Nintendo 64 version. Assholes. But, because uh, if you notice here, it actually kind of, it kind of gets ugly right before it does so, because this, this version of the game had the issue. Oh my god, Link, you look fucking horrible. Holy shit. Does that always happen? Oh my god, he looks so fucking bad. I never realized that. But I think the game had to do a weird trick here where it took the screenshot or something. I don't know, it was weird. So anyway, we are saving here, guys, and we are ending today's video, and now we are going to start the next one, one up inside of this gym, so... Next session's probably going to be... Okay, I'm not going to fucking deal with these guys. I already saved in there. I will. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I saved in there. So, Anyway, um, I am going to... Um, so yeah, next session we're going to finish up this specific spot. And I think we're going to do a few extra things next episode. And then... Or next episode, next session. But the full episode will probably be in Jabu Jabu's Valley. But the next session overall, I think we will do some extra stuff. And yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second. Signing out.